presenting the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. Last week, Flash Gordon, at Queen Azura's suggestion, turned the combustion ray guns on the advance guard of the attacking Hawkmen and brought them to the ground in flames. Ordering his men to retreat, Dr. Zarkoff led the way to a nearby tunnel where he shut out the flames with a wall of chemical ice. Back at the palace with Dale and Khan, Mar, the spy, decided on his daring attempt to find Dr. Zarkoff and deliver his report, while Flash and his officers were reconnoitering outside the entrance to the tunnel in which Zarkoff and his Hawkmen are barricaded, Paul tried to persuade Queen Azura that Flash was not capable enough to be commander-in-chief. At that moment, Flash rode up, and Paul urged Azura to listen to what he proposed and then choose which man was better qualified to head the army. Without hesitation, Flash declared that the only thing to do was charge and gave the order himself. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the big full-page Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The full-page Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your first Sunday newspaper. We now continue the story. With shouts and confusion, the Blue Magic Army charges to attack the barricaded Hawkmen. Suddenly, Paul, furious at being displaced as general by Flash, draws a bead on his back and pulls the trigger. Flash! Flash's horse stumbles and pitches forward dead. Flash is hurled to the ground. Paul! Stop charging! Azura gives the order to stop the charge and makes her way to Flash's side. Flash, my prince, are you hurt? Oh, speak to me, my glorious one. Flash, here, here, take his helmet, someone. Open your eyes, my beloved prince. Where am I? Dale. Quick, you. Give him some stimulant from the flask. That's it. Hi. Uh, Azura. My beautiful one. What happened? Oh, you're all right. But no thanks to Tarl here. Your Majesty. What? You what? shot at Flash's back. Oh, no, no. I saw you. It's lucky your hand wasn't steady. But for making an attempt on Flash's life, you shall die. By my sword. No, no, your majesty. I, I beg of you. Wait, don't kill him, Azora. He deserves to die. His was an act of greatest treachery. No, no, it was an accident. I swear it, Queen Azura. It was an accident. Let him go, Azora. I'll take his word for it. It's growing dark and we can't afford a moment's delay. Very well. Paul, get behind the lines and thank your prince's generosity that you live. Uh, thank you, sire. Uh, thank you, gracious queen. And now for a fresh mount. My horse is dead. Take my horse, Flash. Very well. Wait. It's growing darker with each second. It will be better to camp here for the night and attack at daylight. But the hawkmen may escape during the night, Azura. Not if we keep the combustion ray guns trained on them. True, Azura. All men, lay seat to the tunnel with the combustion ray guns. Start the barrage of combustion rays as soon as the rain can be found. And tomorrow morning, my queen, but come, I will tell you of my plan. I hope they aren't all military ones, my queen. That night, back in Azura's palace, the chief cook closes the kitchen until the morning shift will come on, and Dale and Khan march out with the other slaves. I'm worried, Khan. There's nothing to worry about, Princess. Mar is taking an awful risk. He'll never be able to find his way through the enemy line to Dr. Zarkov. Leave it to Mar. He was clever enough to get himself into the palace. He'll get back to Zarkov somehow. Oh! Slaves, to your quarters! Khan, yes? do you really think Mar will get to Zarkov in time to warn him? Of course. I heard one of the guards say their army had the Hawkmen bottled up in a tunnel someplace. If that is so, Princess, Zarkov can't be very far from here. It ought to be easy for Mar to see the lights of the campfires and so make his way straight to the lines. Well, I hope he gets there in time. So do I. Zarkov may not know why Flash is at the head of the Blue Magic Men. He may think he's a traitor and shoot him down on sight. True, Princess. But on the other hand, Flash, not recognizing Zarkov as his friend, may kill him. Oh, no, Khan. Ma must get through those lines. If he doesn't, something terrible would happen. I know it. Don't worry, Princess. I know Ma to be a fine officer and a brave soldier. 
He'll get words with his arc off or die in the attempt. Oh, don't say that, Tom. It makes you grow cold all over. I'm sorry, Princess. I only wish to convey to you how hard Mar will try to carry out his mission. If Mar gets to Zarkov and tells him about Flash, the great scientist may be able to get him out of the wicked queen's power. That's what I'm hoping, Princess. I'm only a rough soldier. I know nothing of drugs and chemicals. We need Zarkov and his great knowledge. I'm sure he could help us. Tom. Yes? It's odd how long the effect of that drug has lasted on Flash. Don't you think so? Yes, I do. At first, I thought it might be put in his food. But I watched every morsel of that prepared. It's taken from the same pans and kettles as the jewelry. And nothing happens to it in the kitchen. Perhaps the Zura gives it to him. Most likely. Well, she has a splendid opportunity to renew the drug now, out on the field of battle. If she needs to renew it. Why, what do you mean, Princess? Tom, sometimes I wonder if Lash is under the spell of the Queen's magic drug or under the spell of the Queen herself. She is a beautiful and attractive woman. You mean that Flash is pretending he doesn't know us? That his mind is perfectly clear? Yes. Oh, no, Princess. Flash Gordon is not capable of such deceit. I hope you're right, Tom. I've tried and tried to believe my thoughts are just my own imagination. The Flash really and truly was under some strange drug. But the effect has been so lasting, I'm beginning to doubt he's in love with me. You must never think that, Princess. I don't blame you for having such thoughts. This whole thing must be terribly hard on you. You've been brave and loyal so far. You must not weaken now. Promise me you won't weaken, Princess. Thank you for your encouragement, Tom. I have been foolish to doubt Flash. I won't doubt any more. I promise. Good. Look, here comes Mara. You must be ready to start. I've come to say goodbye, friends. You're leaving now? Yes, for the servant's gate. Will you see that the coast is clear while I slip out? Of Certainly. Course. Then let us hurry. A soldier just come in from the battlefront. He says that Blue Magic Army has besieged the Hawkmen in the tunnel, ten miles from here. What did I tell you, Khan? That guard was right. They had Dr. Zarkov bottled up. The Queen's army is in camp for the night and will attack in the daylight. I must get through and warn Zarkov. Don't forget to explain to him about Flash. No, I won't, Princess. Take off the guard. Step back into the shadows, Mark. Who's there? We're getting a breath of air before going to our quarters. Very well. Don't delay too long. All right, Mark. You can come out. Thank goodness you were with me. Well, from here on, I'm on my own. Goodbye, Princess. Goodbye, Mark. And good luck. Thank you. Success to you, Comrade Mar. Now, be of good cheer, both of you. Zarkov shall soon be here. Goodbye. Good luck. Oh, who goes there? The stranger. Where are you going? To join Tal. He ordered me to join him as soon as I rested. Then why are you sneaking out the back way? Why don't you leave by the main gate? I'm not sneaking. Besides... This gate will save me many steps. You're not going out this way, stranger. Go back into the courtyard. You will regret this act, guard, when Tall hears of it. That may be so, but I'll chance it. My orders are to allow no one to leave by this gate. Is that so? Drop that sword. Make me drop it. Drop. As the dawn breaks in the east, the Blue Magic Army rouses from its camp and prepares to attack the Hawkmen. Zora! Zora! Yes, my prince? The sun is rising. We must start the attack. I am ready, my prince. Good. I'll give the orders to charge. Wait. Let us drink a toast before we enter battle. Here, my prince, to victory. To victory and you. Fiddly fed, my prince. And now, let us charge the enemy and capture them. <laughs> my impetuous hero. You would think you were out hunting. Flash, you are attacking a fierce and warlike army, the dreaded horsemen. I've never heard of them. They mean nothing to me. You are sure of that? Certainly. Why do you ask? I wondered. That devil Tal. He's been saying things against me. He told you that because I'm a stranger in your land, I'm not to be trusted. Well, he has intimated that, I admit. He's a jealous fool. I know he's angry because you appointed me instead of him. But I didn't think you'd lose faith in me, Azora. Lose faith in you? I see it now. You had me delay until morning, so that you might decide whether to trust me to lead the charge. And even now, you can't make up your mind. Very well. I'll make it easier for you. What? What are you going to do? Azora, I hand you my sword and my resignation as commander-in-chief of your army. There. Flash, wait. Well? Oh, my impulsive prince, you misunderstand. It wasn't because I have lost faith in you that I asked that question. 
Another reason prompted me. Ah, but never mind that. To show you my faith in you is not shaken, here is your sword again. You are still my commander-in-chief. Azura, you humble me. I deeply appreciate your competence. Forgive my action of a moment ago. I accept my command again. And I'll fight twice as hard in your behalf. I am sure you will, sir. And now, my queen, to prove my words with action. I'll give those orders to charge. Wait. I have something for you. What? Slave, bring it here. What is that? A torpedo. When you get close enough to the Hawkmen, throw it into their midst. But I thought you didn't want to kill them. The torpedo does not kill. But when it explodes, its fumes will turn the Hawkmen into icy statues. Wonderful. Ah, my beautiful queen. How can anyone hope to fight against you? I go to conquer in your name. Hold in for the attack. Follow me. Meanwhile, inside the tunnel, Zarkov and his men wonder at the sudden stopping of the combustion ray bombardment, which has been going on all night. The bombardment has stopped. That is very strange. Well, perhaps Azura has given up, Prince Zarkov. No, more likely it means an attack. Look, Commander, someone is running up to the entrance alone. What is this? Some kind of trick? It may be. Look, there comes the enemy. They are shooting at our visitor. Yes. See the little clouds of dust rising from the ground behind him. Commander, it's Captain Mars. Mars! Quickly, cut the hole in the ice. Get him inside. Yes. Oh. Hurry, men, hurry. He will be killed if you do not get him inside. Ah, that's it. The hole is big enough to talk through now. Mars! Pentaka! Pentaka! The enemy! Hurry, men! Get that ice broken through. What have you to report, Mars? Pentaka! The enemy are right behind me. I had hoped to get in here in time to, to warn you. I pull him inside, men. Okay. Commander. Commander Flash Gordon is up. He sits. Oh. Pull him inside. Flash Gordon is what? Mar. Mar. Beat man. Mar. They've killed him, Commander. Mar is dead. Dead. Just as he was going to reveal something about Flash. Poor fellow. Faithful to the end. Here comes Flash Gordon now, riding ahead of the Blue Magic Army. Ahead of the enemy? Yes. Can he have deserted? Are they after him, too? Stand aside. Let me be the first to welcome Flash to our ranks. Flash Gordon! Flash, my friend! Look out, Commander. He's throwing a bomb! What will happen to Dr. Zarkov and the gallant Hawkmen when the freezing fumes of the bomb turn them into living icicles? Follow these thrilling adventures in full-color action pictures next Sunday in the Comic Weekly, which is an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. The Comic Weekly, as you know, is now printed in full-page size, not tabloid. No change in the features, but bigger and better pictures and more easily read captions. All your favorites will be there. Bringing up Father, Skippy, Zips and Casper, The Little King, Barney Google, The Captain Yammer Kids, and many, many others. What a treat is in store for you next Sunday in the big, full-page, full-color Comic Weekly. So be sure you get the Comic Weekly next Sunday with your Hearst Sunday newspaper and enjoy a half hour's good, clean fun with the foremost merrymakers in the world of pictures. And don't forget to tune in next week at the same time and learn what happened to Dr. Zarkoff and the gallant Hawkmen in the next chapter of the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon.